I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw groundwater in aquifers. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Okay, we're going to come right here in the center and we're going to put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a straight line all the way across from left to right. Now, we're going to come back and we're going to draw another straight line all the way across but we're going to leave it floating because right about here we're going to draw a slightly curved line down over and off the page. Alright, now coming straight down we're going to come back and draw another straight line all the way across and off the page. On the left hand side we're going to draw little tiny curved lines, they can be any shape you want as long as they're closed little curved lines all the way stop come back over here on the right we're going to draw some over here too basically what we're doing is making a chart which we will label but we're going to draw first now I come back to the left and I go zigzag zigzag zig zag zigzag 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 connect. Floating by itself, put a dot, zigzag, 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 connect. And one more hooked up this way, zigzag, 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 up, connect. That's on the left. Now come all the way over on the right. We're going to draw some bigger closed curved lines all the way, doesn't matter what they look like, we're going to label that all in just a moment. Okay, now come back up here and on the left I want you to do the letter V, then let's draw straight, slightly curved line down, leave it floating, come back up, straight line, curve line down, leave it floating. Right next to it we're going to draw another letter V, then we're going to draw a straight line, slightly curved line down, straight line, slightly curved line down. And now let's draw a little one closer over here to the right. The letter V, straight line, curved line down, straight line, curved line down. Alright, now come back over to the first one and we're just going to draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, connect curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, and one more over here, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Starting on the left, we're going to start down, draw a curve line up, jump over, curve line, curve line down, keep going, keep going, curve line, curve line, and connect. Come over here on the left, off the top, and we're just going to do curve line, curve line, curve line. Off the page, let's draw another curve line, curve line, big curve line, dot, dot, curve line, curve line, and curve line, curve line, curve line. Okay? Now I'll do little curve line, little curve line. Curve line, curve line, curve line on the right. Little curve line. Okay. Let me see if we've got everything, and I think we do. All right. Now we're going to label. Come right over here and draw a slightly curved line down and put a triangle. And this is your land surface. Now you can pause the video if you need to, to get the spelling correct, maybe make a uh, spelling bank of the words, vocabulary words. Now over here we're going to do a slightly curved line up, 
triangle and this right here is our surface surface water and I'll explain all this once we get everything done now on this very first we're gonna put space we're gonna put a straight line in a triangle going to the end jump over straight line triangle going to the right and inside we write unsaturated unsaturated zone okay now we come down to the next space and we're going to write water table and I'll explain all this so just write the words and then right here we're going to write ground water saturated zone now I know a lot of you are going what just work with me and pause the video so you can get all of these words written down. Okay. All right. Now over here, we're going to write fractured rock and draw, let's do it this way, straight line and a triangle. And then over here, we're going to write gravel whoops put a V in there curve curve line and a triangle all right in between this big space you're going to write ground water fills the spaces between soil particles beneath the Earth's surface. And those spaces and soil particles, straight line, triangle, are fractured rock, straight line triangle gravel okay all right let's see how we're going to color this in okay so basically what we have done is we have taken a slice of the earth and we have divided it up so we can see how the groundwater and the aquifers all work but first I have to do my land surface, land surface. So we're going to take brown and do our tree trunks. This is what you see above. Okay. So your land surface is very important. Then I just did straight lines going across. Fill in the space. Now you don't want to go too dark because this is a chart and when you label and make a picture chart you don't want the coloring to take over your actual drawing. Now next this is very important this is your surface water so this is the first layer that you see so you've got your land surface and now you have your surface water. Next comes this unsaturated zone and this is the space between the land surface, surface and the groundwater and the water table. Okay? And basically what happens is that the saturated zone of groundwater with the water table is the part of the water that is going to come up through the geologic formations in order to become surface water. So it's like a sponge. So this section is how it makes its way towards surface water and towards this land surface. 
okay so, so we don't forget what we're doing we're going to go ahead and color this a light blue green just so that you know this is partly water but I went ahead and I used a light brown to do these little round spaces because that represents some of the um, sponge like land surface okay now when you go down to the next layer you can have water coming through fractured rock so I went ahead and I'm doing gray this is fractured rock or if you don't use fractured rock you can do this also with gravel okay now you can make this brown and gray or gray and brown but this is the representation for that whole part now the most important thing really are your arrows because this is how you designate what you're talking about so don't forget your arrows okay think of it as a slice of layer cake right straight through and then defining each one of the parts okay all right don't forget your son this is just for fun and lightly do a little bit of sky again like I said you don't really want to put too much of this with color because it is a chart okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here is my chart all colored in now to go over the definitions again groundwater is the water found underground in the cracks and spaces in soil sand and rock it is stored and moves slowly through geologic formations of soil, sand, and rocks called aquifers, okay? So basically it's how the water makes its way all the way through all these layers up to the land surface and to the surface water. Okay, bye-bye.